the National Cleanup Production Center South Africa aims to empower industry through this instructional video series. Water efficiency is an important element of resource efficient and cleaner production, or RECP. Industrial water efficiency is about maximizing the usage of water in an industrial process in order to achieve more with the same water load. This approach allows the same water to be used more than once and for multiple purposes, like reusing rinse water for lower grade cleaning processes, or alternate applications such as cooling towers or circuits. Why do we need to practice industrial water efficiency? South Africa is a water scarce country receiving less than half the world average annual rainfall. The current increasing demand for water is projected to outstrip available water supplies by as early as 2025. Given this, South Africa and more importantly, South African industry can no longer afford to carry on with business as usual. Industry now has to take into account that the risk is no longer increased costs associated with excessive water use, but rather the risk that water may actually run out. When considering options for addressing intervention measures, apart from minimization of losses, water efficiency offers the lowest cost and quickest turnaround solution to industry. The industrial water efficiency approach follows the same six stages of an RECP assessment, namely planning and organizing, pre-assessment, detailed assessment, feasibility assessment, implementation, and finally, monitoring and measurement. Using tools such as the material balance assists the companies to gain an in-depth understanding of where water is used within their process and why. Armed with this knowledge, companies are then able to make an informed decisions about what response or remedial action needs to be taken to address water use on their sites. Let's take a look at RECP Industrial Water Efficiency in action. The NCPCSA conducted an assessment at a proactive, high-profile international soft drinks group. The plant had tight targets for water use management and reduction, which included a self-imposed reduction target aimed at reducing specific water consumption from 2.2 down to 1.8 hectoliters of water per hectoliter beverage produced. In the assessment process, a detailed site water balance provided an overview of where and how much water was being used in the process. The data was plotted using regression analysis to determine the water base load and baseline for the production site. The results highlighted cleaning and washing within the process being a significant contributor to water consumption. A common practice opportunity was identified to recover and reuse the final rinse water from the cleaning in process CIP operations. A 40 meter stainless steel 3 inch pipeline was installed from the cleaning in process CIP rinse tanks to divert water to a reclamation tank to serve as a top up supply to the bottle washing facility and as a make up supply for bottling section conveyor belt lubricant circuit. This resulted in offsetting the need for fresh portable water for these applications. The actual savings measured over a three-month period yielded a cost saving of 190,697 Rand, the equivalent to a reduction of 70,083 hectoliters of water with a one-month payback period. When extrapolated over a year, assuming no further changes were made to the process, this would yield a projected annual saving of 420,500 hectoliters or over 1 million rand. Check out the other NCPC SA Toolkit videos for guidance on how to implement resource efficient and cleaner production and how to improve specific energy systems in your organization. The National Cleaner Production Center South Africa is a program of the Department of Trade and Industry hosted at the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. For more information, visit www.ncpc.co.za.